Okay, welcome back. We are trying to solve Advent of Code again. So this is the tree. Hopefully it will be uh, simple as well. Uh, let me just announce it. Or not announce it, I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, it's announced. Already have two viewers. Hi guys. Our uh, girls. Today is problem number three. I have sound, right? I should have sound. Yeah, I have sound. Um, problem number three. Let me disable my sound here. Okay, so we have, uh, don't have much time, not really, so let me just copy the template here. Um, maybe I should make something out of it. That's the tree, blah, blah, blah. Oops, sorry. The three, okay. Maybe inputs as well. D3. It will have probably will have inputs, right? Inputs lerp inputs here. And run D3. That. Okay. Um we are ready, I think. Let's Let's start. Yeah, if you if you miss the start, you'll just watch recording. Binary diagnostic. Uh, someone has been marking some blah blah blah. The guest reported probably consists of a list of binary numbers which when decode public and tell you many useful things about. First part to check is power consumption. You need to use the binary numbers in the diagnostic report to generate two new binary numbers called the gamma rate and epsilon rate. The power consumption can be found uh, by multiplying the gamma rate by epsilon rate. Each bit in the gamma rate can be find the most common bit in the corresponding position of all numbers in the diagnostic report. For example, given the following diagnostic report, considering only the first bit of each number, there are five zero bits. The first bit of each number. Okay, the most common second bit is uh, since the most common bit is one, the first bit of the gamma rate is one. Okay, so we we see which we have more like ones or zeros, right? So the gamma rate is a binary number, blah blah blah. Uh, the epsilon rate is called similar words and use the most common bit, the least common bit from position is used. So the epsilon rate is nine. Uh, so it's basically negation. Um, Okay, okay, uh, we can take this as an example. Um, <laughs> example. This is our example. I didn't start the repo, okay. Okay. Um, so we need to okay. So yeah, uh, let's say. Also part of the setup. Let lines um, split lines. There is such thing, right? Yeah, split lines input. 
Okay, so okay, so this is what we do for um, hmm. e range count first lines, right? So e is in the position. Oh, let's call it position for each, for each position. What do we want? We want um, to take um, map lines. We want to map lines with and line pause, right? So we want to take ends character out of it, right? And then Then what we want, we want to take uh, most common character out of it. So like, I don't know what we're doing. We so basically this this will get us a column column, right? And for column we call frequencies. Frequencies, right? We have this. Yeah, it's chars. So for this is the frequency uh, frequencies of the columns. Um, and uh, we zeros ones. So zeros will correspond to zero. Oh, basically like this, right? And finally, once we return zero, the y one, the y one. Okay, so this is our code. Let's run it on example. One zero one one zero, right? One zero one one zero. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we need to convert this uh, to lines, chars, or digits. You can call it digits. Okay. So now we have digits. What we do with digits is string join them, right? And we get a binary number and then we do um, I think there's like yeah parse long and it has right long parse long like this. We get 22, okay, and um, so basically this is our, what it's called, gamma, yeah, okay, gamma. This is our gamma and uh, epsilon is what the same but inverse. Uh, how do we inverse it? I don't know. Okay, I know, I know how we inverse it.
Ja, was? Let's use proper proper characters, right? This is our gamma, this is our epsilon, okay? I think they are both in fear codes, so they should be alright. Okay, I don't know how to create I seek for all blah blah blah. Okay, so digits. Oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah okay so is because 22 and 9 and we need to multiply okay cool so let's multiply and we get one it uh, wait what ah because we re didn't redefine the input right? ah we didn't copy the input here yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Pam, 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 pam. Okay, so we get one thirty seven uh, seven three five four. That's the right answer. Yeah, uh, let's move to part two. Next, I should verify the life support rating, which can be determined by multiplying the oxygen generator rating with C1 scrub rating. Both oxygen generator rating and C1 scrub rating are weirdos that can be found in the NIST report. For example, Tiggy Barn Bosphor is located in a similar process that holds floating out values until only one remains. Before searching for either writing way to start with the full list of binary numbers from your diagnostic report, consider just the first bit of those numbers then. Keep only numbers selected by the bit criteria for the type of rating value for which you are searching. Discard numbers which do not match the bit criteria. If you only have one number left, stop. This is the rating value for which you are searching. Otherwise, I repeat the process, considering the next bit to the right. The bit criteria depends on which type of rating value you find. Oxygen generator rating determines the most common value in the current bit position and keep only numbers with that bit in that position. If uh, 0 and 1 are equally common, keep values with 1 in the position being considered. To find CO2 scarber rating, determine the least common value, 0, 1 in the current position, and keep only numbers with that bit in that position. Uh, least common way. Okay, okay, okay. For example, the German X generating class starts with all 12 numbers, consider blah blah blah. That's reverse. And define the life support rating, multiply the action rating by square root of it. Use uh, binary numbers in your. Okay. Um, input hasn't changed. Yes, that's cool. Okay, so this is different but the same we probably need um, a function that will get, give us um, like it, it will take lines and position right Should we write the functions that returns like most common or least common? I don't know. Um, it feels like this could be that function, right? I 
Let's have yarn. Return it like that. Okay. Simplified significantly, but uh, kind of it's okay. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Like what was the algorithm? Yeah, yeah. It, it should still work, right? No. Four. Yeah, it still works. Okay. So let's start with part two. So now what we need is we need to start filtering values, which is a little bit crazy, but doable, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we determine which one is more common and only keep that number, right? Okay, so we probably will need a loop. Loop uh, which starts with all lines below available, right? Position starts with zero. Um, No. So if we have one line left, we just what we do So this is our O2, right? Rating. Um if we only have one light line left we return long pass long first line stone. Okay, otherwise we we do zeros ones. Is it zero S or zeros? Zeros. It's boss, right? Okay, tower. Uh, zeros ones will be frequencies of lines and pause, right? If okay for oxygen generator, yeah, keep values with one uh, more. If more equals one zeros, recur. Okay, so we are going to filter lines. Um, like that. Otherwise, we are going to filter it like that, right? Okay, it didn't work. Um, part two. Oh, sorry. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, string can be cast to class number. What do you mean? 
Each string. Which string, which string, which string? 43. Oh no, we yeah, have probably messed this up. I, I can never remember which one goes first in ends for some reason, maybe. Okay, so it's 23. Is our example. Yeah, oxygen is 23, and it's uh, CO2 we should get. should take um, least common one, right? Keep values with zero. So if zero maybe it's basically the same. It is written and we just multiply them, right? To thirty. Okay, and let's call it on our input four eight two five oh oh four and two five oh oh. Boom! We completed day three. I uh, I would say. Yeah, it's it's something about a sea, right? There is like a submarine probably in there somewhere. Okay, so we done it. I don't like. I think we need to prettify this code a little bit because it's kind of ugly right now. So maybe we we'll work on the code a little bit. I have time until twelve, so like twenty minutes more. So I can spend them trying to improve this or simplify or whatever. Um, well, first thing that I think we need to do is so is this a super superscript tool? Yeah, like that. Cool. <laughs> because because we can, right? Because we can. Why not? Um, yeah. So these two loops definitely, certainly look very much alike. So how we how can we? I don't know. Simplify them, <sighs> unify them, I don't know, whatever. So this two, are this two like saying the same thing, kind of? If there are more ones than zeros, they're, they're kind of saying the same thing, no? Or am I? Oh yeah, so if there are more ones than zeros, then we're keeping one. And if there are more ones than zeros, we're keeping zero, right? So are they like negative to each other? Not exactly, right? Because, yeah, not exactly. Yeah. 
And we can make it a function, right? Um, how is it called? Rating, it will take lines, right? And like if we move this here. Then we can make rating lines. Um, kind of like that. Kind of like that, right? So now something is not right. Okay. Yes. Still works. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Um, we might also want like. have a function called invert. It takes digits and basically it returns this. Okay. Still works. That's good. I mean, yeah, usually they say like you should make a function if it's used more than one times. I prefer to make a function when there is like logical reason to it, like if it's isolated piece on functionality, um, like self-contained, right? So like this operation, this is a technicality. You don't want to know how exactly you don't care about the details how exactly this works right uh but you all you want to know is that logically what is happening here is just inversion right um We can also like make this is um, not the most efficient way to do this. So we make a string from digits and then do this. Uh, and actually, it could be much simpler indexes or lines and you can get rid of filtering. Um, I will consider it one sec. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will be better if frequencies return indexes or lines, and you can. Um, after a core, you will iterate over pre filtered collection. Mm. 
And my camera is not playing nice with me today again. After record, sorry, you're talking about you're talking about uh, second one, right? Here. Yeah, but frequencies it's used uh, in the first part as well, maybe. Sure, send the link, maybe I will. I, I don't read Go, but I, I, I could try to understand it. So maybe frequencies can return lines that are more frequent and then we can use it Okay, let's see um, Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, fuck. Copy link. It worked. Okay, so search. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's it's too hard for me. Um, but what I'm thinking is like more frequent lines. Uh, the problem is like uh, I can return more frequent, less frequent. No, 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 no. I don't need lines. 
become more frequent. Uh, one thing that I notice is it always returns like we, only, we only care if there are more zeros than ones in a line, right? So we can can call it ones and return like this, right? And here uh, also Okay, this simplifies it a little bit. You think you can filter out, you can remove filtering. Also do that. It's still okay. Kind of like that, yeah. Uh, we may probably want to So this is my, a little bit more efficient. It doesn't go through. Doesn't create string, right? 
since we already have uh, digits, so why not? How do we get digits? Normally you need them here. Okay. Um yeah, it's about all the time I had. Let's check if script works. Oh, it didn't update it. Yeah, it worked. Can we actually No. No, it's like, well, it could run, but it needs something like this, probably. Yeah, you can run it in Bombashka as well. Maybe you should have. Uh, okay, anyways, it's all the time ahead. Uh, thank you for joining. That will be all. We will probably commit this year 2021 day three yay that's it for today thank you bye bye